like the debut, Kevin? Oh, it felt amazing to get back out there. Um, I had been out for a while, so I felt good to put on the pads and just be out there with the rest of the team. Kind of the highlight play of, of the afternoon for the for the offense, anyway. I mean, how did you make that happen, and, and how did it feel to get something there? Um, you know, it's just a routine play. We were in all the time, just uh, focused on doing my job on the play and trust Hudson to go out there and make the throw. Just a little pitch and catch. Tell us about your camp, because obviously it was pretty frustrating for you. What happened, and then how did you kind of ease your way back into ultimately Saturday? Um, so, you know, I had an injury in the spring, and it was really – you know, it's my last year, so just continuously working better every day, working with the training staff to just strengthen my knee um, and get back out there. So I knew I just, the ultimate goal was to be able to get back out there and just help the team and be around the guys. So that was the ultimate goal. Did you have any trepidation considering coming from the West Coast to the Midwest as you were looking at transfer destinations? I knew it was cold over here, but <laughs> <laughs> besides oh, yeah. that, you know, I was just looking for the best school, best fit. Um, but the cold, you know, you get used to it. I got a little bad in January. That was my first time seeing, like, real snow. Yeah. Some people told me I need, like, a snow shovel. I thought they were joking. But I learned, like, really quick that I had to go buy one in a little ski mask. But yeah. um, it was a smooth adjustment. Did you have a winter coat when you moved? I How didn't. My mom actually <laughs> sent me She sent me a trench coat. She sent me a ski mask, gloves. I was not prepared. <laughs> Does it help at all if there's other, like, did you kind of, gravitate or connect with the other California guys or West Coast guys on the roster? There aren't a lot of them. Mm -hmm. I feel like everybody, we have a really close, uh, tight-knit team, so all the guys who transferred and everybody kind of connected, and all the guys that were here uh, from last year kind of, we didn't miss a beat. They kind of came and made us feel real welcome and incorporated us real well. Ken, you, you played at Oregon State, didn't you? Yes, sir. Well, what were your assessments of the uh, stadium? Um, I, they have a really nice stadium, good crowd. Uh, we know they're going to bring the energy over there, but, you know, as a college football player, that's what you want. You want a packed out stadium. You want fans to be, you know, talking. But our job is to go out there and, you know, just execute the guys. Like, you know, Harold said you're kind of like a coach the way that you think. Was that how you could help during the injury is, like, kind of seeing it from that vantage point and helping guys out? Yeah, so being uh, – once you get hurt, your job as a leader on the team, um, it doesn't stop. So any way you could help or see how to make guys better, I'm just going to go out there and try to help because, I, you know, being, uh, giving great information to yourself is no use if you don't help everybody else and spread it around. So I try to help the guys whatever way I can, just so we can try to be as best as possible. Is coaching in the future, or have you even thought that far ahead? I haven't thought about it. A lot of people tell me, like, you're going to be a coach one day. Um, I'm not sure right now. Right now, my focus is just on uh, helping my teammates. You know, that loss on Saturday could be a real emotional, mental setback for a team. What have you seen from the response from these guys to that? Because obviously you don't want it to be something that you're still dragging around a few weeks down the line. You know, it's one of the – everybody hates losing. Um, you know, it kind of hit hard. Uh, obviously, it didn't go how we wanted to. But at the end of the day, you know, after the game, you know, we have to flush it. And, you know, one game doesn't define us. We're the CEOs of our own life. So we have the ability to change that and go out there and win every week. It's up to us. So we just all flushed it as a team. And we knew we had to come out here today have the same energy that we had in the past. Uh, win or loss, you have to hit a reset button and just continue to try to execute. Was there anything in particular different about practice today? Um, no. A lot of times, you know, if you lose, a lot of people look for, like, oh, what, ne what needs to change? Sometimes, you know, you go out there, you could have a great team. Sometimes people just, you know, they get their best shot on you, and sometimes losses just happen like that. So our job is to continue to work hard every day, um, execute and practice, and do what coaches do. How many, how many of your teammates know your dad was a super MVP? Uh, a little bit of them. Um, <laughs> they weren't, a lot of us weren't alive. Um, I was kind of shocked. Uh, I found out some guys were born in 2006. It made me feel old. <laughs> so I was like, wow. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Anything else for Cam? Just how validating was the catch? I know, given the circumstances, it didn't mean a whole lot in the grand scheme. But for you, mm -hmm. going through an injury, getting back out there, and then making a huge play, mm -hmm. uh, had to be somewhat a validation. Like, OK, I'm good. I can go out here and compete. Yeah. Um, Really, it just started in practice, working every day, um, strengthening and building that confidence back, running routes. Um, but as far as the catch, um, you know, that's a that's a concept we run every day in practice. So it's just it's routine. You don't even think about it. You know, as a receiver, when you see the ball, you just think the ball is mine, and you gotta trust the quarterback's gonna put it uh, where it needs to be. Is this week a little longer just because you guys want to get back to another game and get Notre Dame like taste out of your mouth? Yeah. So right now, we're really just. All our focus is strictly on uh, Oregon State right now. So we're coming out here, looking at what they're doing on film and, you know, seeing how we can pick that apart and just come out here and execute. Um, and at the end of the day, our goal is to win. So however we got to do that, run the ball 80 times, pass the ball 80 times. We're just going to go out there every day and uh, just execute the plan. I know you haven't taken a road trip with Purdue yet, but you've played a lot of college football. 
What's the difference when a team goes on the road? Just the approach, and obviously the schedule gets shrunk this week because you're leaving on Thursday. For sure, I would say just like a little bit of schedule change, um, getting on a plane, you know, a lot of times flying and uh, flying can be a little draining sometimes. So just uh, keeping the main thing the main thing. Don't get distracted by the time change and all that. Um, just go out there and just have the same focus, know why we're there. We're, we're there to go uh, play a football game and execute and try to win. Um, so just keeping that the main focus. Anything else?